Hi, this is Stanley Holdrich for InternetSafety.com, and today I'll be walking you through the process to actually download, install, and set up your SafeEye software. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, you could very well see a bar like this at the top. Uh, you should click this bar and say Download File. Uh, what that will do is trigger the download. Um, if you get a message like this, click Yes. This is a security warning. Um, simply stating that this is a secure site. At this point you will see a file download screen. Uh, the best option if you are uh, on the computer that you want Safe Eyes to protect is just to click run. Um, we can go over how to put it on other computers uh, at the end of this video. So we'll click run right now and uh, go ahead and click run if you're getting extra security warnings and um, that will start the process of uh, downloading the there we go downloading safe eyes to your desktop all right at this point it will activate the install shield wizard um, best thing to do is just click next here uh, accept the license agreement you can print that out if you like and click next and then finally click install to install the program. Installation will typically take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes depending on the speed of your connection. At this point you will see a screen that's asking you to wait while uh, communications are tested. This is basically Safe Eyes attempting to communicate with the internet. Um, it will ask you if you want to restart your computer uh, that is what you should do. You should uh, select yes and click finish. Um, okay, we're back. I've restarted the computer and as you can see this activation screen pops up asking for your username and password. So what we will want to do is input the username that we created when we signed up as well as the password. and if you've forgotten your password you can use this handy link right down here all right um, as you can see the activation is complete uh, it's now installed and working on this computer so we'll close this window now what you're seeing here is the easy setup wizard now I'm going to pretend I have a young son who is 8 and a daughter who is uh, let's say 14. So we'll start out with uh, the administrator. Um, the first thing you're going to set up is the administrator user. Now this is usually the adult or the person who is in control of the account and so I'm going to set that to reflect my age uh, which is over 18 and my gender which is male. Um, now if you do not want to get into this process you can always skip the setup wizard but we do recommend using it because it's the best way to get the most out of your SafeEyes software. So we'll hit continue and as you can see these are suggested settings based on an adult. Um, websites uh, the blocking is low it blocks just pornography and safe search is not locked in and all other uh, functions of the software are turned off. So we'll keep that and click next. Um, now what you see here is this is uh, made the settings for the administrator user however if you want to create additional settings for other family members which we do we'll click here. So what we're going to do is set up uh, remember I said I had an eight-year-old son so we'll set up his name as Joe and check the availability see if that's available no okay uh, we'll check Joe Holditch um, check the availability of that that is available okay uh, we will also uh, create a password for Joe so we'll just call it Joe password and then confirm excuse me and email is optional so we won't do that right now and since he is eight I'm going to set it to tween and set his gender to male and we're going to leave create the settings based on the age selected above selected so we'll click create new user Ah, password cannot contain the word password okay so we'll just uh, set it as um, Jojo
All right. So as you can see, since Joe is eight, uh, he has different settings. Uh, websites is medium. Uh, blocking drugs, violence, pornography, and safe search is locked in on all browsers. Uh, videos are set to medium. Music is set to high, which pre prevents explicit downloads. And uh, you can see that other uh, other settings are either high or uh, you know social networks are blocked for kids the age of eight. And uh, time limits are actually off, and we leave that up to uh, each each participant to set up. So you click next here. And that's it for Joe. But remember, we have a 14-year-old daughter as well. So we'll create uh, an account for her. We'll call her Jenny, sticking with the J's. Jenny Holditch should be available. It is. OK. And we're going to set that to teen, 14 to 17, and her gender as female. And as you can see, Jenny, because she is older, has uh, different suggested settings. Uh, website blocking is medium, videos are medium, music is set to medium, uh, instant messaging set to medium, games are uh, on, and we are going to block gaming related sites. Uh, email is off, and uh, instead of blocking social networks, we're monitoring social networks. Um, you can see you have a link here to enter info, but we can actually do that later in the actual admin panel. So we're going to click next, and we can see that Jenny Holditch is set up, and uh, so we have now set up both the admin user, which would be the adult of the family, and two separate accounts for each child. Um, so we're done here, uh, so we're just going to click off. And uh, as you can see, um, right down here, we have Safe Eyes in our dock. That means it's ready to go. So we're going to right click and uh, click Log In. All right, and we are now logged in to Safe Eyes. As you can see from the uh, green, now if if this is a uh, computer that a lot of kids are on, or you know that it's it's a shared computer, probably what you're going to do is to uh, remove the saved login. What this will do th is this will make sure that every time anybody uh, every time anybody gets uh, on the computer, they're going to have to actually log into their account, meaning their settings will be. Uh, activated and not the administrator settings. So we're going to log out and remove the saved login. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to log into Safe Eyes. All right, so now we're logged in with uh, my settings. And uh, what I'd actually like to do is uh, go into the administrator panel. Now, why am I being asked for my password again? That's a very good question. I'm being asked for my password again because you have a uh, user password and then you have an admin password. And the admin password is the only way that changes can be made to the account. So what we're going to do is enter the admin password and log in. And so what we see here is our three different accounts. We have Joe Holditch, Jenny Holditch, and uh, all a, a quick read of all the settings that they've got going on. So um, basically what I want to show you here is that once you've set up users, you can still go in and change things. Um, so let's change things for little Joe. What I'm going to do is select his account up here, make sure that that's the right account, and we're going to change some blocked categories for Joe. Um, Let's say that I'm worried about Joe learning about drinking. I would check uh, alcohol. I certainly don't want him buying things on eBay. Uh, so I'm going to check auction and uh, e-commerce. And that looks pretty good. So we're just going to save these categories. OK, now that we have been through the entire installation and setup process, I would like to show you one more thing. And that is how you can get Safe Eyes on different computers. Um, once you have installed it on the main computer, you can install the uh, Safe Eyes on two more computers, all for the same uh, yearly price. So we'll just uh, go through how to do that real quick. Um, first thing you'll do is go to uh, SafeEyes.com, and you'll see this page, and you'll also see this uh, navigation item right here, Download. Uh, you click that. 
that will take you to the uh, download page and all you're going to have to do to get a uh, uh, download installed on the new computer is enter the same username and password uh, and this would be your admin password uh, that you chose when you set up so uh, if I can remember exactly what that is I think I do uh, sure So you just enter that information, you click uh, log in, and then you can see the button here to download the new version. Um, this will automatically detect uh, whether you're on Mac or PC, so you don't need to worry about that. And all you do to uh, get it on another computer is simply click this button, download new version. Um, this will download it once again, and that will start the, uh, the same process that we just went through. So it's it's that easy. You just go to safeeyes.com, click download, you enter your admin username and password, and uh, you just click download, and that's how you get it on multiple computers. And you can have it on three computers, PC or Mac. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope this has uh, helped make installation and setup of SafeEyes easier for you.